Hi everybody, this week's theme is portraiture with me. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a quick self-portrait and teach you the sort of the basics, There's a few tips about doing a self-portrait. I'm actually using a mirror uh, here, so I'm going to do a self-portrait. But first of all, I'm just going to do the uh, do the proportions. So if you if you just basically do a circle like that on your page, just a, a rough circle, and then drop a, another art, a circle down from that. So you basically got something that looks a bit like an acorn and then from top to bottom there if you draw a line through that's your center line for the nose they're about halfway down a lot down here halfway is a line that's where your eyes are going to be then again about a third the way between there and the on the, on the bottom and, and and here so a third and two thirds along you've got the line for the nose and then the mouth uh then then out from here along about halfway along here you've got where the eyeballs are, are basically going to be that's the line for your eyes so i'm just going to mark with the eyeballs the eyes here um, basically the distance between the eye should be about the same as the distance of an eye so if you imagine three eyes going across that will sort of give you roughly give you your proportions the nose i'm just going to suggest a circle there for the nose and the nostril the mouth here i'm gonna i'm gonna do a couple of circles here and here uh, the corners of the mouth generally on average person go if you drop a line down from the eyeballs you've got the edge of the mouth so i'm going to draw a line there for the mouth that's the top lip there now you see why i've done the circles and there's the mouth underneath there now you've got the basic shape, now you can draw your shape of your face. Now of course everybody's got this slightly different shaped face. Some people have got more of an oval face, some people have got heart shaped faces. Mine's more of a squarish face. I've got, I'm going to draw my chin coming down from here, like this. And then the line up there front for the nose, over the eye, of the arc of the eye. If you the eye sort of sits in a sort of an orbit like that in it in, so where the top of that is that's generally where your eyebrow will go from there no i'm going to draw the line here from the cheeks going down like this again just checking it myself in the mirror once you've, uh, you've got those basic proportions you can start to personalize it so i'm now going to draw my hair there that's the hairline there. Ears. Now that, that the top of the ear generally is in line with the eye, and then the bottom of the ear comes comes down sort of halfway between the nose and the mouth. That's generally. Again, that varies. People's ears are different sizes, and of course, it's the one part of our, one of the parts of our body that keeps on growing as we get older, so, which is interesting. Interesting. So there we are. That's that's um, with a neck. I'd, I will drop a line down here from from the ear. That's sort of slightly hidden by the jaw. I'm just going to put a line in there for my jumper. There, there's that. There's my collar, my jacket. So that's basically your proportion. Now I'm going to so personalise a bit more. I'm going to put in a line there for where my beard is and moustache, and also. I've got this because I've got this light here now. I've got a bit of dramatic shadow, so I'm gonna. I can. You can then fade, uh, shade that in. I'm just doing it in pencil for now. I'm just shading it in. A lot of this side of the face is in shadow, so I'm gonna just just suggest that here. This ear's in shadow. There's so much of the hair, except for this highlight here. This here, I find that the shadow is in this corner. This side of my face, is, the light is on it, so that's light. Uh, again, just under the moustache here. A bit of a shadow here under the nose. On the side of the nose. And a bit of a shadow under here. And there's a shadow under the chin there. So there we are. That's just sort of the basics. Um, next I'm going to show you how to 
taking that as a basis, it could be a novel way of uh, filling in that with some colour uh, using collage. So I'm going to show you that in a separate video.